Really sharp. Moves up on the outside to put ahead in front. A quarter mile to come. Road Agent fights on toward the inside, but second. Strike the note third off the far turn. Ruler of Love toward the inside needs room. Son of Samurai needs room as well. Slammerama still has five lengths to make up. Balance the books. Is coming late. Still six lengths off the lead. Summit County charging up on the outside. Coming after the leader. Son of Samurai dives to the rail. Balance the books. Balance the books. Huge strides from way back. Head bobbing photo for the win. Either balance the books from the outside or a dead game really sharp who fought every step of the way toward the inside. Photo for the win in the bourbon. Unofficial winner of Keeneland's seventh race, the grade three bourbon stakes. Six balance the books owned by Clarevich Stables Incorporated and by William H. Lawrence, trained by Chad Brown. Julian Leperu rides his second winner on the card. Balance the books, a two-year-old colt by Lemon Drop Kid. And a Keeneland April two-year-old sales graduate. Bred in Kentucky by Scott Heider and Knowles Bloodstock Incorporated. Mile and a sixteenth in the books for balance the books. Results still unofficial. Inquiry and objection pending concerning the unofficial Second place finisher. Trophy presentation up next. Presenting the trophy for the Bourbon Stakes, a Breeders' Cup Challenge race, is Eric Gregory, president of the Kentucky Distillers Association, Jerry Summers, director of community relations for Jim Beam, Al Young, brand ambassador for Four Roses, and Mark Kaufman, master distiller for Alltech's new Town Branch Distillery. The KDA is a nonprofit association that represents Kentucky's signature bourbon distillers and oversees the popular Kentucky Bourbon Trail. And that trophy being presented to the connections of Balance the Books. Balance the Books comes from far back under Julian Lepreau to win the bourbon, trained by Chad Brown. Uh, we'll talk to Julian first and uh, came from far back. Uh, was out, you were outside. You managed to avoid the trouble. Did you see what happened inside there? Yeah, it actually got to me and uh, it kind of bugged me too. So, uh, uh, yeah, definitely saw it, but he's, he's a very nice horse. He didn't break too, too sharp today, but uh, he was relaxed and uh, make his run uh, like he usually do. And another stakes win here at Keeneland. Got to be great for you. Yeah, it's always good to win stakes nowhere and anywhere, really. <laughs> and, uh, Chad, this, this horse has been very nice. I mean, first time out, he just gets beat. You're running back as a maiden, wins a grade two, come back here, win a grade three. And now you're in a Breeders' Cup. Yeah, he's, he's a wonderful horse and wonderful owner, Seth Clareman and Bill Lawrence. And um, all three of this horse's races have really been uh, good. Keeneland sale grad got him here in the spring and brought him back here and, and won a stake here. It's been great. Do you like the way he's progressing? Is he coming to the Breeders' Cup now in uh, top form? I think so. I mean, we're going to have to watch the replay. My horse looked like he was a little green also, but uh, late, in this, late in the race, he wasn't the one that was green or, or doing anything wrong, I don't think. But um, talk to Julian about it. But the horse is getting bigger and stronger, and uh, we're on to the Breeders' Cup. Congratulations. Balance the book. Books takes down the bourbon.